a mile. World famous, yet rarely ran in Singapore. But once a year, opportunity arises. Now it's time to take it. Welcome back to the channel y'all, it's your boy Amir, back at it again with yet another video of this Road to Mile PB series. Today's video will be short and sweet, I'll just be previewing the Zoom Kindred Spirit 800 and Mile Open Races. But before we begin, I just wanted to congratulate all those who took part in last week's Polite Track and Field Championships. We saw some fabulous races including a sub 2 800 meter run by a newcomer, Jaden Tan from Nian Polytechnic. He's part of a very promising group of 800 meter runners from Trackstar Athletics. I'd also like to congratulate all those from Lactic Buds representing Republic Polytechnic, especially the distance runners, for their amazing performances in the distance events at the championships. Good work you guys, can't wait to see what else you have in store for the rest of this season. Now, on to the topic at hand. Okay, so first up, we've got the mile. Um, it's happening on Thursday evening. Right now, you can see the championship record is 428.97, hailed from uh, since 2014 by, and hailed by So Hwa Tsun. I'm so sorry, I'm tripping over my words. Um, but yeah, that's the championship record. Right now, I'm looking at the seat times, and we're seeing quite a fair bit of sub fives, which is pretty good, which means that the field is pretty decent. There are quite a fair bit of lactic butt runners as well. So, shout out Coach Jackie for the coaching job that you've done. Yeah. Lin, uh, there are a few names who have caught my eye. Siva, Sing Heng, um, of course, Jackie, Faisal, Timothy Liao, Ruben Loganathan, Kin Ko, Kin Ko, and Sean Go. Yeah, so I'll go down the list, okay? First start, let's start with Siva. Siva is currently the 5 and 10k champion from Polite from last week. He did pretty well for those races. So I, I definitely know that he's fit. The only question is whether he'll have the speed. His teammate Nikesh is currently out injured, so I won't talk about him. All I'll say is get well soon Nikesh. I hope to see you on the track soon. Now, we see in lane 3, we have Tsing Heng. Singer has always been good, um, or at least he's been, he has always been um, consistent Yeah, at the 8 and the 15. So I'm pretty excited to see how he does here. Right now his seat time is 4.40, so I'm guessing that he's hoping to go under that. Yeah, and as we move down, I see Sherman who took part in, uh, R in the, he, who took part in Polite representing RP. So I think he would be, he would be pretty decent. Here we have Chen Hong, who says that his seat time is 4.38. Now, I don't know, but I haven't seen anybody recently who's run like 4.38. Because if you do convert that mile timing down to uh, 1,005, that would be about 4.20. Yeah, so I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, anyway, moving on. Um, Jackie, in lane 10, we see that his seat time is 4.45. Now Jackie did tell me that he's aiming to run 4.40. Um, and I'm pretty sure he can, based on his 1005 uh, run a few weeks ago. He ran a 416, so yeah, excited to see what he does. And then of course we have Faisal, uh, 442. He just won the Polite 1005. So yeah, I'm, I reckon he could also go under 440. Now, let's move further down to all those with no seat times. Uh, Timothy Liao, always going to be good. I reckon he would probably be going for a sub 450. Probably. Um, I'll come back to me in a bit. But right now we have Ruben Loganathan. Again, nas multiple, multiple national school games champion. So can't discount him. Gideon, uh, sorry, Kinko. He went to represent us over in Riga at the World uh, Athletics World Running Championships. But I reckon he's not as fit at the moment because of his national service commitments. Yeah. And of course, um, last. Sorry. Last but not least would be Sean Go. He is interesting because from what I've heard, he's pretty fit. And um, he, he represented us this year at the SEA Games. And also at um, Riga as well for the World, World Athletics World Running Championships. If I'm not wrong, he ran a 15.30. So definitely know he's fit. The question is, will he be able to convert that fitness into speed? Because... Um, if I were to bet on anyone here, I would bet on myself. Yeah. 
I would really bet on myself. Because at the end of the day, okay, firstly, I know what I've done in training. Okay, I don't know what my friends have done in training. I don't know what my competitors have done in training. I know what I have done in training. So I would bet on me and I know my pedigree. I definitely, at the moment, I would say that I can go faster than a 410 for 1005. So yeah, I would say that championship record might be looking to go. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm not going to jinx myself. Okay, now we've got the 800, which is happening on Saturday evening. Um, I'm not running this. I will probably only run my next 800 and 1500 meter race in January before I fly off. Yeah, at the All Comers 1. Yeah. So anyway, back to this. We have, in Heat 1, we have Jinghong, Siva, Ram, Nikesh. Okay, sorry, not Nikesh, because Nikesh is injured. So I would say the three main runners would be Jinghong, Ram, and Siva. Yeah. Um, like I said previously, Jinghong is a 201 runner. So you always have to look out for him. And he's been running pretty fast recently. So yeah. I'm interested to see how fast he can go here. We have Siva, who like I said, is the 5k and 10k champion from Polite. And also the Polite Road Race champion. So, I am interested to see how fast he can go over the two lap race. Especially with people like Tsing Hung and Ram to push him. Yeah. So Ram, of course, um, he won the 400 meter Polite Championships. Um, and he is also a 201 runner. So, I do hope that Ram and Singham can join the Sub 2 club soon because that will be very good for Singapore as a whole. Yeah, it will be very good uh, because that will mean that um, the whole, our whole standard is going up. So, I do hope that they join the Sub 2 club soon and they're in shape to do so. Yeah. So, now on to Heat 2 or other Section 2. Um, lane 1, we have Hari Haran Duraraj. Like I said previously, he's an old friend. Um, we train together occasionally now that I sometimes train with SP. Um, he's a 205 runner, but if I'm being very honest, he can definitely go faster. And this is a heat that can help him go faster. Yeah, because in lane 2, we have Muhammad Faisal, who recently ran a 201 at um, the Polite 800m Championships. So he is fit, he is ready, he is fast. Um, yeah, quite excited to see how fast they go. Um, we have here Oliver Lim, who himself is a 201 runner, but if I'm not wrong, this is his first race back in a while. I'm not even sure if he's going to run, but yeah, I do hope he shows up because it's been a while since we've seen him run. Like. Nicholas Lian in lane 8, um, he's from Team Sikara, my club. Um, I'm, I think, if I'm not wrong, he told me that he's aiming for a 208. Yeah, just an improvement on his inter-club race, and I hope he gets it. Okay, that's all for today. The previews took longer than I expected. Um, I apologize for that. But I hope all of you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe and check me out on my socials. I'll see you all after my race this week. Peace. Yeah. Slacking, huh? Not cooling down. Of course, he's gonna see this.